To the northwest, the funeral of the Buffalo King Royal Nations Queen Mother, Semane Molotlehi, is underway in Pocheng village outside Rustenburg in the northwest. Uh, she died last weekend at the age of 77 after a long illness and hundreds of mourners, including local residents and dignitaries from South Africa, Botswana and some international guests are at the funeral. We're going to soon reach out to our reporter Sentleng Lehihi for more on the story. Sentleng is with us. Sentleng, very good morning to you once again. What are you witnessing there? Good morning once again, Blaine. We're just trying to get our positioning just right. As you can see behind me, the funeral procession is lined up. We've got a guard of arm there waiting to lead the hearse outside of the conference center venue. They will leave here and go to the final burial site where only close family members will be allowed to actually sit in and see her go down and be laid for, uh, forever. For now, I'll just pay your attention to uh, the family that is standing right there, these are extended members of the family, while the main uh, members of the family, given the Khorsi and uh, the other siblings of his, have already embarked on the family vehicles that will follow the hearse to the final burial site. We heard quite some noted speeches coming today from the speakers who spoke about the uh, uh, contribution that Messi Manu has made in ensuring that uh, the Royal African nation reaches a level where it is recognized as the Africa as one of Africa's richest uh, traditional communities with sizable investments not only in platinum but a diversified portfolio that ensures to instill and maintain intergenerational wealth for this community remember that platinum wealth in this area and reaping it has been a difficult feat for this community they were the very first to actually think of sending a group of uh, community members to Kimberley and ensure that they bring with them much needed monetary resources to buy the much needed land. I'm just going to step out of shot for a while and give you a, a sight of the hearse that is about to leave the conference center. I must concur indeed that it's been quite a somber day indeed for the community of Puking. You know, this woman is an auspicious character that is well respected not only by the traditional community but also by many women in this area. You can see some of the women have raised up their right hand in solidarity and paying homage to the Queen Mother to ensure that, you know, it is in their bidding farewell that she leaves accordingly. You can notice that there's a bit of drizzle that is coming down here. This drizzle is quite noteworthy if you're a traditional person in the Sutsuana community. They say that Pula Kima Tokonolo. It is quite noteworthy that at this moment when Me Mukulu Simane Molo will go to a final resting place. She is ushered by drops of blessings from the heavenly doors. That is to say that she indeed is receiving perhaps the dignified farewell that she expected herself. We are going to ensure that we keep to her wishes and ensure that we do not go to the cemetery as we have been instructed. But we will ensure that we... Uh, portray what was her contribution in a way that actually pays homage to her contribution. There's just a bit of uh, uh, mangling that we have to do now to make space for the cars that are going to be leaving here. So uh, we're just going to move a bit and allow them sure. to, to follow it. Yeah, we are just being told to move a bit. My apologies for that. Kilo kilo mewa rona. Rat halusi soro ena mewa ka. Kine gilian pasele. Ine gilian pasele. We kutwa jamu a peri mela ya rona. Kine kine gilian pasele kicho kuli mpopo. Ebe kili queen ya di drum major tere mnyala ka 1963. So sile kita muka Monday kita lihum kita la ruru kuri kwa ne mehuru wa buluka. Relate kete reswavile mare me ruru tile. Rubule kilo. Once you join a woman's club. Mind you, is open. How to turn us so we are an open person. Uru rutile, ritume se bile ramona uta maile. Anzar aruruta one way. Nage tswalo bana ko Canada, ke tswalo bana mafasenga mantsintsi lokolisoto kenzeke ke mo thekhile.
This lady explaining to me here that she's come quite a long way with the Queen Mother, Semane Molotle. He explaining there that she, in fact, performed drug measurements at the Queen's wedding. And that was a very significant memory for her, given that she has also been able to follow the Queen on her international trips to countries like China when she was trying to ensure that investments uh, as, uh, of the Bafokeng are actually followed through and I diversified by international investors as well. If you can see behind me, the procession is just leaving now. Members of the family and some royal communities are also standing around. And there you have it. That was the funeral of the Queen Mother of the Royal Bafokeng, Semane Mulutlehi. From us here in Pukeng near Rustenburg in Northwest, back to you in studio. You know, it's so, so important that you uh, brought that information to us with regards to the belief systems of those, uh, you know, relating to the, the drizzle that is there. And I guess it, it will offer some comfort to those that are in deep mourning, uh, those that, you know, where, where melancholy prevails now that the Queen Mother is lost to us. Uh, just describe for us. Uh, St. Lehing, with regards to her work in the community, for those who might have missed our earlier crossing, talk to us about her involvement in local development. You must remember that the significance of Memo Kholo Semane Molotlehi's contribution begins quite early uh, in the Bafokeng. We must remember that in, the in 1988, when her husband was forced into exile by the then Buputazwana government, she was forced to stay here and hold down the fort. And she herself experienced uh, the brunt of the harassment from that uh, former uh, Buputazwana government and was herself under house arrest. But that did not stop her at all. In fact, she was willing and was able to spearhead all the community's interests until her husband's return in uh, 94. You must remember that even after the husband's return, uh, passing rather in 95, she was able to spearhead the legal battles that the community was heading to ensure that they reap uh, royalties from the mining operations happening on their land. Remember that this land was bought in the late 1800s by an idea of the community and the former chief then who had saw it prudent that the community should have title deeds and ownership to the land. And lo and behold, 30 years after his passing, the land was found to be a bedstone of uh, platinum riches. And Memo Kholu ensured that the community, irrespective of trying to be shortchanged by the Putazora government, and by any other law, ensure that their royalties are given. They've managed to diversify their portfolio to not only include platinum investments, they've invested in uh, properties as well. They've invested in infrastructure in this community, including clinics and this very conference center that you see. And the road infrastructure is quite noteworthy, if you can imagine. You must also recall that as a leading woman in this community, Memo Khole is also lauded for... Uh, uh, um, initiating an organization of widowed women as she was a widow herself to ensure that that these widowed women in uh, Puking are given the much needed assistance and support she also also had a, a, another organization which was spearheaded to actually assist uh, children in this area particularly orphans who are um, who, who are not exposed to you know proper family structures and support you could go on for days explaining the contribution of memo holo simane molotlehi but you can see by the crowds gathered here you know that she did indeed touch many people way and beyond this area Sentling and rejoice great reporting great context as well thank you very much indeed uh, sentling lehi here uh, life for us in the northwest we'll catch up with sentling a little while uh, later on